glance uh, looks like just another barnyard romp with a robot thrown in for good measure. But if you look closely, it's much more than that. If you're a fan of the Transformers or of uh, my old buddy, the Invincible Iron Man from Marvel Comics, um, you'll notice that some of those ideas uh, got their first run through in this cartoon. The star of it is Bimbo, um, who is a dependable, almost unknown star from, from uh, the Fleischer Brothers stable. And the cartoon has also has an almost but not quite Betty Boop appearance in it, too. In 1932, Betty Boop had made just a few appearances in cartoons. Uh, what most people don't realize is that the character who had become Betty Boop actually started out as a French poodle. A singing French poodle, if you can believe that. Here's Betty's prototype from the 1930 flick, Dizzy Dishes. That was pretty rough. The studio kicked the idea around for another year or so and came up with a cat version of the character and any little girl that's a nice little girl. Here's a scene from that one. What wouldn't I do for that man? Now we come up to the cartoon we're watching this evening, The Robot. In this one, the character is sort of an anomaly. By this time, the real Betty Boop had, that everyone knows and loves had shown up, but the almost doggy version was still showing up in cartoons too, like the ones we're going to be watching right now. Step up! 
I want to fight one round Mike. Okay, you're on. Sit, Ernie, sit. Good flamingo. 